in this next installment on the online walkthrough will show you how to register for a Waffle tournament online. Now that you've created your chapter, let's go and figure it out. Okay, so we go to the vanful.org site. Now there's several ways to do this. You could click on Virginia Forensic Leagues on the side here, and you could e-register for a tournament right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, it shows the various leagues in the state. But what is even cooler, in my estimation, is the calendar. The calendar has been set up, so it's the one-stop shopping. Not only do you have direct ability to post legislation, but you also have what I like to say is the ability to register. So, let's say I'd like to register for Novafel 1. Okay, I'm going to register for Novafel 1. I'm going to click on Registration Deadline, and I'm going to look at my Register for Virginia Forensic League here, click on Register. They then take you to the registration site. I've already set up my account, so I'm going to call it debatezar at gmail.com. And remember, our password is sample. sample. So we click it, log in. Then we get to choose the tournament. Now notice, there's several Waffle tournaments that have overlapping registration. Be ultra, super, uber, hyper careful that you register for the tournament you want to. Many times coaches just enter a tournament without clicking on this bar here, and then they'll go to whatever tournament comes up. You don't want to do that. So I'm registering for Novafel, and I'm entering my tournament. Now, let's say I'm not going to be there. I'm going to ask Martha to be there, because Martha is wonderful. And I'm going to put down Martha's contact information, and I'm going to save that. Now, let's go to uh, let's register for students. Let's go to domestic extemp. In domestic extemporaneous speaking, I'm going to click on several students. Let's go for Michael Moose, or Mickey Mouse as he's often known on the team. I click on him to enter him in, and look at that, Michael Moose, there's his competitor code. Now that's just the alpha, that's just the numeric code. When you get to the tournament site, we'll give your, you your alpha code. That's your school code that'll help us with uh, getting registrations. Now let's also put in Ollie South into um, domestic extemp as well. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, let's also, uh, these two guys, Mickey Mouse and Ollie South, they really like Lincoln Douglas debate. Now notice the screen's a little odd right now. Chris, who's our uh, web guy, is going to be taking care of that in time. Uh, but if you can't see it, just highlight and that'll tell you. They, they're novice debaters. They want to do Lincoln Douglas debate. So I go, okay, you can do domestic extemp and Lincoln Douglas debate. And then I go here and I try and register Michael Moose and I can't. And I look for Ali South, and I can't. Well, why not? Well, because we've set up the tournaments in such a way that you can't register across debate and speech. The time just doesn't allow it. We get a lot done in a short amount of hours, but we really can't get that done. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to break the news to them. They can't do LD. So, I'm going to put instead Alicia Alishnikovanov. And Alicia's now in here. Alicia's got a code. Now, when she appears on uh, the LD schematic, she'll be listed as sample AA, but for right now, that's her code for uh, just registration. Okay, so I've broken the news to Michael Moose and to Ali South that they can't do domestic exempt. So I say, what else do you want to do? Uh, and they say, well, put us an impromptu. Okay, so I click on impromptu. Now, what's nice is we also have descriptions of each event from the Waffle website that show you the clear rules. Uh, when you are entering students. So, in fact, right there, there's the description for rules. Far less structured. You may use note card. That's really cool. Where's Michael Moose? Oh, there he is. There's Mickey Mouse. Let's register him. And notice Mickey Mouse pops up. How nice. Uh, and Mickey Mouse's code. Now, notice this is a different code than extemp. We've coded all the events uh, so that they are the same 100-level uh, code. 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s, and therefore they'll have two different. A student will have two different codes in two different events. This makes sure that they're in the right room and the right event. Okay, so we'll add Ali South as well. Ali is going to go in there. 
Okay, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so I return to the main menu again. And let's look at registering some public forum kids. Public forum is pretty cool. Uh, let's go to uh, public forum debate novice. We'll add some names. Now we have two students in public forum, so we have to go here for the first student and here for the second student. Ash, Ashburn, Nicholas Dimaby are going to be partners. All right, that's pretty cool. And then let's add uh, Fannie Mae is going to be partnered up with Alfred E. Newman. What me worry? Not about debate. And we've entered them in. Notice there's their codes. Now they're debaters, so they're going to occur as sample, and then we use their last names, AD or MN. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got that set, but let's say what happens is uh, we'll, we'll handle changes in the, in the uh, next registration uh, uh, walkthrough, uh, but we're gonna, something's going to happen. This gives you a little dramatic suspense. All right, what else do we have? What other events are possible? Well, we see here Student Congress. Let's click on Student Congress. We have some kids in Congress. Okay, who's in Congress? There's the whole definition of Congress. My goodness. Uh, let's see who's in Congress. We're going to put in Titania Tattleback. And also in Congress, we're going to put in Fritz D. Wonderpigeon. He's a really cool kid. And therefore, we have their Congress codes as well. Now notice, the other students we've registered aren't here because Congress is a separate event that you can't register in the Virginia Forensic Leagues in, uh, as well as speech or debate. Okay, what next? Well, I guess what's next, we have to add dramatic and terp. This uh, kid I just uh, wrangled in, uh, Horace Greeley, is amazing in dramatic and terp. But I don't see Horace's name. Oh, that's because he's not on my roster. Ooh, dramatic. How do I handle it? Do I tell Horace he can't come? No. We go back to register, back to our uh, account, and we can view the roster, and we can put good old Horace Greeley in. So we click on Horace Greeley, and Horace is graduating in 2014. He's a sixth grader. Uh, is it possible? Yes, it is. Now, it'll give us a warning that he's been advanced in the far future, but that's okay. We're, we're okay with middle schoolers. So let's return to the chapter, and let's go back to registration. Now, instead of open for registration, we have to look at existing registrations, and that was Novafel 1. We have to view our entry, and let's see about adding good old Horace Greeley in. Dramatic and terp. Horace Greeley, is he here? Yes, he is. Horace Greeley is here. And I enter him in. And now Horace exists. That's wonderful. Okay, so we return to the main menu. And now we have to remember the last thing switch to judge registration. Remember, this event is not, this set league is not one that provides judges for you. You have to bring judges. Judge burdens are one for every five in Congress and speech and then one for every th uh, two in LD or public forum because we have single events. The event's nice because it highlights it. All right, we Congress judges, we need a Congress judge. So I'm gonna, I've gotta add a Congress judge, don't I? So let's add a Congress judge. Let's add Judge uh, Anthony uh, Scalia, Scalia, Scalia male for some reason and uh, experienced. I can put this in. Now we'll often use judges into other events as well so don't worry about that. We'll move judges around if we have to. So we return to judges. We've got this here and we need a speech judge. We, ha we need one and we only have zero. So what do we do? I'm going to hire that speech judge. I'm going to say I'm going to hire that judge. Judges can be hired at $55 a piece. Okay, so that judge has been hired. Now, it says that I still owe a judge, but we'll be covering that in the next video.